place to call home today. Hey everyone, how's it going? Jonathan here, looking at you. Cheers and cheers and to you. I had a, I had a milkshake here. I'm just uh, down here at Belongin, Belongin Beach here in Bali, and I'm feeling like I belong here, to tell you the truth. Feels really good to just relax and chill and be able to do some work on my computer. I'm editing the Mind Lab and uh, we're doing some final edits to really turn every module in this 14 video series into a work of art, into an actual episode, something that is so visually and mentally and spiritually and emotionally stimulating that it is designed to help you recreate new neural pathways in your body and mind. And I'm so excited with the results of this program because I'm, I'm watching it right now as I'm looking out at this beach here in Bali and I'm just reflecting on the fact that I have been able to utilize the tools and the technologies within the Mind Lab to create my own reality. And as many of you know, I've been traveling for the last year, uh, working in different countries, being able to uh, build relationships, build strategic partnerships, and make money around the world doing what I love. And you know, the cool thing about it is that what I love to do is create businesses that create what, what's called a blue ocean. And I'm not only talking about this blue ocean right here, what I'm talking about is a, a book called uh, Blue Ocean Strategy, which talks about this idea of where can you create an opportunity in a brand new market? How can you go into the world with a new idea, a new concept, uh, a new vision for the future, and, and bring it to the world in a, in a big way so that you become the best at what it is that you love to do? And I think that that's what we all have the potential to do in this life is to bring forth what it is that's most exciting and most meaningful to us in our life. Check this out. Just shredding it, yeah. Tearing it up. And so, you know, that's that's what I love to do is I, I you know, for me, I wanna share my voice, I wanna share my mind, I wanna share my vision of how people can take their life to the next level and, and, and doing it, you know, and I'm doing it at the same time, you know, how can I take my life to the next level? How can I share my voice with a bigger audience in a bigger way? How can I help to transform the education system, the outdated education system that needs so much help? And, and the youth of our future, I mean, they're gonna inherit this world that has so many problems, so many challenges, and at the same time, so many opportunities, as you can see by these beautiful waves here. There is so much opportunity in this world. There is so much beauty in this world. There is so much abundance in this world and it's up to us to be able to tap into it and to create the, the channels to receive that abundance. And so it's really all about that, creating channels, creating opportunities for engagement, creating opportunities for people to pay you financially uh, to bring your value to the world. And I think that's important because what I hear a lot with a lot of people is that a lot of people are concerned about money. You know, it's like they're, they're either in, a, in a, a mindset of abundance or scarcity. And the people that are in a scarcity mindset, it's like there's not enough, the job market's tough, there's, there's not enough to go around, there's a lack of resources, our world's being destroyed. Um, but on the on the other end of the spectrum, we look at it as uh, an abundance, an abundance. There is a, an abundance of, of wealth. There is an abundance of opportunity. There is an abundance of, of of money and resources and food and everything that we need in the world. There is enough, and there's new opportunities for us to create. So I mean, you look at, for instance, let's take food for example. You know, the old market, the old the, the old leaders in food production, they were creating genetically modified food because they thought that their farms would not be able to handle organic farming. They thought we need to produce a, a food that's going to be sustainable and not get attacked by bugs. I don't think that they were just trying to genetically modify food so that they could create seeds and then dominate the whole market. Although I'm sure at one point they realized that they could do that and that they decided that they would do that. Um, 
But at the same time, what the, what they were thinking was that there was there was a, a, a scarcity of resources, and they need to have control, right? That's the ego. The ego wants control over everything, and so they tried to create these genetically modified seeds. However, in the 21st century, in in the abundance mindset, we're realizing we can actually grow eight acres of food in in these containers that are one acre wide. So there, there I saw an article recently of a, a company that's doing just that. They have one acre a building and they're able to grow eight acres of organic food because it's in a contained and controlled environment and they're able to do it organically. And so this is the abundance mindset, my friends. This is what we need to adopt in our own life and it applies not just to food, not just to agriculture, it applies to every industry, every profession, and, 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 and every market of people in the world. Now, you know, I talk a lot about business, I talk a lot about markets, and it, you know, I talk a lot about money. It's not just about that, it's about making a big impact. And at the core of sacred strategy, the idea is that within each of us, there is something that wants to come out, there's something that wants to emerge, there's an opportunity, there's a, a, a business, there's an organization, there's an initiative, there's some sort of project or some sort of creation. The creation wants to emerge through you in a full, big way. I say full because what I mean is that creation wants to emerge through you fully. There's a potential for fullness and for wholeness in your life. And the only way that we're ever going to be able to bring it forth is when we start to really tune in, to ask ourselves, what is it that we want to bring forth? What is it that wants to come out of us and how can we do that in a big way? And that's what the Mind Lab is all about. It's all about tapping into the subconscious, tapping into your highest self and really starting to create a strategy for your future that brings you into alignment with that highest vision of yourself. So I'm really excited to be able to be here in Bali editing the Mind Lab and turning this program into something that's so resonant, something that's so powerful, something that's so meaningful and, 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 and something that's so useful and putting my heart and soul into it so that you can enjoy it just as much as I have because it can take you anywhere. The mind, the heart, the soul, the body. Your body can take you anywhere, but the question is, my friends, where will you take it? Where will you take your body? Where will you take your soul? Where will you take your life? Co-create, demonstrate your potential. Give it the best that you got because we only got one shot at life and it's infinite. Now, I have no doubt in infinite life and eternal life. I have no doubt that after this life, we will be able to experience the infinite understanding of the infinitude of a creation of source, of the power of the universe that created us. I know that we will one day be brought back into union with that power. And just a little secret, that day, that moment, it's right now. Much love and aloha from the beaches of Bali here at Belongin Beach. We got the beach huts here. I just had a banana pancake and a milkshake and a Bali coffee. And I spent about $2. Oh, God, I love this place. Love you guys. Talk to you soon, aloha. <laughs>